the Pentagon has announced a new military assistance package for Ukraine, the largest to date with a whopping value of nearly $3 billion, as the country marks six months since the start of Russia's all-out invasion and the 31st anniversary of its independence from the Soviet Union. The new tranche of aid from the U.S. government includes six more National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile Systems, or NASMs, and an unspecified number of counter-drone systems called Vampire, along with more artillery ammunition, radars, and other material. The planned transfers are expected to occur over the course of a number of years, underscoring a new and important focus on bolstering the Ukrainian military's capabilities in the longer term, regardless of how the current conflict might evolve. The inclusion of six more NASMs, as well as more munitions for them to fire, is particularly significant. The US government had previously announced plans to transfer two NASMs to Ukraine. It remains unclear how the NASMs heading to Ukraine will be configured. A number of different versions of the system exist now, made up of different combinations of launchers, radars and other sensors, and command and control nodes. For instance, certain variations of NASMs incorporate missile launchers mounted on Humvees or other light vehicles. Tests have also been conducted of the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, HIMARS, vehicle, which Ukraine has now received at least 16 of, as a launch platform for the AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, AMROM, which could be utilized with NASMs. The Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace teamed up with Raytheon and initiated the NASAMS program as a cooperative effort for the Royal Norwegian Air Force. The state-of-the-art network-centric air defense system NASAMS was declared fully operational capable in 1998 but had an initial operational capability as early as in 1994-95. The Arnoaf together with KDA is currently running a midlife update of the NASAMS, called NASAMS 2 and the upgraded version was first handed over to Arno AF in mid-2006. The major difference the two versions will be the use of Link-16 on NASAMS 2 as well as a better ground radar. Full operational capability, FOC, was expected for 2007. The system integrates US-built and slash TPQ-36A LASR, low-altitude surveillance radar. 3D radars and AIM-120 AMRAM missiles with an indigenously developed BMC-4I system called FDC, short for Fire Distribution Center. The FDC connected to a TPQ-36A radar forms an Acquisition Radar and Control System, ARCS. The missile has a range of up to 25 kilometers. Other sources cite a range of over 15 kilometers. Note that ranges for AAMs are estimated for head-on encounters for fast-moving aircraft at an altitude and the ranges are significantly smaller when the same missiles are launched from stationary ground platforms. NASAMS has been exported to Spain, Finland, and the Netherlands. The government of Chile has also ordered NASAMS. Several NASAMS were used to guard airspace over Washington, D.C. during the 2005 United States presidential inauguration and are used to protect airspace around the White House.